be in the stream if you are the, the game being streamed. Um, just as a rule of thumb, if you don't know that you're the person being streamed, then don't be in the stream. All right, so here we go. Is anyone playing SSK? If someone's playing SSK, I'll def well, we should definitely... Uh, there is at we least one SSK player. I know Gomes is playing it. Okay, and uh, so is Za, or is Za not playing it? Za, Za is playing, but I think he's, no, he, I'm pretty sure he's playing uh, City. Just says Scorpion yeah. for him. I'll adjust that later. Oh, if it just... Okay. Watch, um... I'm also okay just watching that one. Um, let's see how we can watch. Is it okay if we watch that next round, Montes? We'll definitely get an SSK game in though, because I also want to see how it plays. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll try to we'll try to hop in one of those also. All right, so um. Going to this game right here, so uh, Will Harrison is uh, one of my lion testing buddies, and he is playing Tower. Um, Tower obviously took a pretty big hit with Spyglass leaving, but it's uh, turns out it's still pretty reasonable. He definitely playing Tower. Yes. Oh yeah, he's one hundred percent playing Tower. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason why you would ever play. Oh, and he is a Zentaro too. Yeah, so this this is like sort of like one of your ideal starts on turn one. Do you want to get like the LPB? Um, just that way you get the uh, the extra stand. Sanity. I think that would actually probably be um, PD. Is what my guess would be. Um, it's either policy to be, or you just don't take a restricted list card, right? So. Uh, well, that's one, that's one thing that, uh, Imperial's Imperial Palace. You don't even need the palace. So like people people like try to. Because, just because the strict list is there doesn't mean that you have to have a card that's on it. Um, and Meditations so, on the Tau. What is this deck? Keeper uh, of Void. Keeper of Void. So I know Baltus is a big fan and, of Kuanon. Um, is he going to defend this? I assume that he will, right? Imperial Palace is like... You don't have a restricted list card, so may as well just play Palace. Balthus is mistake one on, on my part. Cool. So, what's the mistake? I don't know. I mean, I guess you could just like not defend this. Like, what is this LPB gonna do to you? Like, um, So I think actually if I were Balthus here, I would have gone ahead and tea house the finger jade. Same. Um, that way you can actually get the meditations off. Oh, that's true. It's um, actually pretty bad yeah. to... This, because uh, this tea house is 100% getting stolen. I also would have considered defending with... No, you can't defend with Kuan on here because of the restand, right? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, you're right. No, he has a he has a new name on Quanon, so he can he can tea house. Yeah. Put a he put a new name on there. Oh no no no! The, the courier has to be participating. Sorry. Right. Yeah yeah. I mean yeah. like he needs to actually put the Quanon in there. Um, yeah. But so I think maybe just like can... not doing. Oh no! I guess if you tea house then. Yeah. Okay. So it, the, the 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 way the way it works out, you wouldn't actually be able to do it, right? So you would need Kuanon in there. Um, When's the lunch break, by the way? Is it? It'll after... be after this round. Okay. All right. So nice return to the fence here is pretty good. Um. They'll just be able to bow the Zentaro. Uh, and also Kuanon gets a counterattack here. Uh, so he could potentially go to City. City's fine. Uh, there's the... the, the, the... Attack 
kind of want to. Uh, I would prefer to scout a bit. I would be hesitant about scouting because of the fact that um, the tower deck is also probably on rebels, and you might get Kuin on Vowed. So if you want just oh, guaranteed value okay. here, then it's probably best to just go ahead and go for the city. Wouldn't you rather know where the rebels is turn one? It's probably best to know it where where it is turn one. But if you want to actually, you know, uh, yeah, if you want to break and get the favor here, I don't know how much this deck needs the favor, but you probably want to just go for the city. I actually don't know what 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 his splash is if he's keeper of void. That to me implies. Okay, so he is just gonna break the city. Yeah. So the looks... city has relatively little. Uh, it, um, it, it it definitely helps for consistency purposes. If you can go ahead and discard all this stuff now, uh, yeah. then that you know prevents it lowers your chances of seeing a Zentara dupe, right? Yeah. So one thing that uh, uh, Harrison's pointing out right now is that he tried to bow Kuanon with uh, Q Nakoma, uh, but you can't because he's a champion. And that was one of the big problems that Lion had going into Worlds last year was that uh, Crane was so popular and prevalent. And one of the big reasons why you couldn't beat Crane as Lion was uh, you can just buy Kuanon, and then he's just huge and sits there, and you can't um, bow him with, uh, with Kyu Nakoma. Well, Toshimoko also invalidates Kyu Nakoma, right? Uh, because to an extent. Losing? No, he, he has, Toshimoko has to lose, so... Toshimoku will never trigger at the same time Kyu Nakoma will, will. Oh, okay, so there's, you would have to uh, trigger so, Kyu Nakoma yeah. first, and then, um, and then Toshimoku triggers? Yeah. No, that's not right. That's not right, because you can't... They don't, they don't trigger in the same time ever, because Toshimoku has to lose the conflict for him to trigger. Kyu Nakoma only triggers whenever the Lion player loses the conflict. Right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, never mind. Okay, that makes a lot more sense, yes. Okay. Oh, voice of the Ancestors with one fate. That is a bold move. Um, so it's actually pretty good here because he's going to get um, a Samurai of Integrity here, and then he also has the, the, the Voice of the Ancestors sticking around for um, in service to my lore purposes. Did he get another fate on Quanon? Uh, he is that a... him. Okay, so that's all three dupes of Quanon out. Yes. Interesting. Cool. And <laughs> we see Netsu here. I like uh, Netsu. Yeah, Netsu definitely uh, some tech for the for the crab matchup. Oh, Netsu's a good card. Um, I have no idea what he's playing. We're trying to figure out what his splash is. He's currently only played uh, one card. Yes. Uh, name. Oh no, he also played Return to Offense. Well, I mean one. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's rough. There is Okay, so the rebels actually was on where the where the where the tea house was. Whoever yeah. called that got it right. Who was that? Um, I mean, it makes sense that you would put it there. Um, that's something I would do too, right? So if you if you were going to try to break it, then I would put yeah. it on the province that punishes you the most for trying to break it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So insanity rises definitely one hundred percent called that. Um. In the Zentaro here, because he's just going to. So he is going to do that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, in this situation, I would actually probably pull in the voice. Uh, I mean that I. I was actually thinking that I would probably do that as well. Yeah. So the, pulling in voice here does a couple things for you. One, it uh, it bows the thing that he can use to uh, do in service. Um, and also, you're still winning the conflict after, um... You don't have to waste this card here. Yeah, I agree with that for 100%. Oh, is he getting a Defender Honored here? What's happening? I'm not sure. He's I saying he, uh, I think he's just, uh, remiss about the fact that he has to spend cards to, to win this conflict. Yeah. Oh, it's political. <laughs> Yikes. You should just put the hand card back. Okay, well, whatever. I guess it's still fine for... Um, I mean, this is a tournament, right? So, like, you know, if he wants to give him takesy vaccines, then that's fine. If he doesn't, then it's such as it is. Okay, Kakita Dojo here. That's... That's uh, that's fine, but he has two Fana commands on there. Yeah. And I think that's this is what he's realizing now. 
It's okay to like waste one. Oh wow. Okay. Interesting. This is a very aggressive bill, uh, bid for from Will. Yeah. But what do you do? Like, who cares if you have two Fano commands? I right. guess that, and you don't have any money. Oh, I guess he has one. He could probably potentially have like one Icoma uh, reservist. So he's going to attack with a voice, uh, bring the dude in. Okay, sure. Yeah, so this is, and here here's a, a situation of why um, maybe pulling the voice might have been better. Granted, uh, since Harrison is going second, he can just attack water uh, and then just restand his tower. Or restand the thing that he can use to uh, in service. Yeah. Uh, especially with Kuan on bad right now. Oh my god. Nice. Bought this. What a baller. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead? Yeah, he, yeah. This thing is 100% dead. Yeah. What a baller. This is so great. Oh. Well, to the death. Okay, so defend your honor. I mean, that doesn't matter, right? Because you, you're still winning to defend your honor. It's just a lot of honor that you have to give because you have oh. to bid five. What? what? <laughs> it's not to defend your honor. Hi, just just bid five, man, or bid three even, right? That's all you have to do. Yeah, so the, I because yeah, you just bid three. God damn it, bought this. <laughs> all the duels. This is gonna be a three duel. This is gonna be one of those situations where, um. Duel. It's not going to be like your Mosey game where there's just like dual left, like chain dueling. Oh, okay. So we're going to have another Defend Your Honor come out now. Why is he playing another one? No, this is uh, Harrison playing another one. Why is Harrison playing another one? I don't know. I think maybe you're just trying to confuse him. Right? Because you just sort of have to create opportunity. <laughs> Okay, now he's definitely dead. More... Oh. Okay, so this cancels the first Defend Your Honor. Yes. So now we're going to be bidding for uh, okay. Duel to the Death. actually awful, right? Because um, the Duel to the... This now... Oh, shit. Like, he can't win this Duel to the Death now. Oh no, he he also can't really win this this um defend your honor. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so that's 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 done. So the tower has died. Uh, the voice has been um voided. Dude, this what a badass. Oh, he bid, you know, he bid five. <laughs> to the death. What a badass. I I'm just so proud of both this right now for this series of events. <laughs> All right, so Baltus can actually okay no. So they, they, <laughs> Will's gonna attack air here to protect himself from just dying out, right? We'll, we'll watch that SSK game um, as soon as this is over, which should be nowish. <laughs> 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 well, it's it's not totally over, but I mean, two breaks in one honor. Like this is oh spoils of war. Okay. All right. We're living. Um, damn, this was this was so fucking hype. I I was one hundred percent not exp I was not ready for that. I, I I would say I'm definitely not ready. Okay, so <laughs> nothing progresses here. Um, My body didn't realize that this is exactly what I woke up this Saturday for. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that was legit nutty. Okay, so this is amazing. Another marketplace. Honestly, if I was bought this here. I would probably just bid five, right? Because who the fuck cares? You want cards. I mean, he has a proven like, ground. Are you going to... So, yeah. All right, never mind. He has a proven ground, and he has this uh, pillow book girl. Balthus is in such a commanding position now. Yeah, and uh, no, no, he's second player here, so... Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm getting pings here. 
Wow. Get a five. Harrison going for a four bid. That's... I should respect that. I think that's a good play. Like, you need the... You probably just need the cards to survive, so you may as well go for it, right? Yeah, it looks like we, uh... <laughs> um... I think that Balthus, Balthus played him, right? By being like, oh man, I, I bonsaied into a political and then hit him with a duel to the death. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Just learn him into his sense of safety. All right. Um, let me deal with some admin stuff real quick. We'll go ahead and keep uh, talking. 100%. Um, yeah, I'm wonder if that was a, like a... Right. So, Matsu is turned off here, which is a little bit... Um, Awkward. I don't super think that you need to KB here because um, Matsu is not even going to be turned on. Um, but I think it's fine. How many sharpened the mines does he have now? He has one sharpened the mine. Okay. Okay, so KD just gets finger jaded. So that's fine. That's easy. Let's see this hand. Really expensive hand. Friendly slovenly talisman, way of the lion, way of the lion. Wow, that is... Okay. Um, I guess I would get rid of the talisman there. He gets rid of the adorn, but he can't even play the adorn butcher this turn. Um, but I guess you will eventually. I'm feeling that Baltus is not on... Um, he can go, yeah, 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 he can, you're right. That he is not on, um, Gen Splash. He might be on, like, Unicorn Splash. Um, the Talisman of the Sun. Like, that's what you do. Good, he does. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now you know that he can't really defend a... He can't really defend a political, so you just go in um, with the painter, you water, you stand, Kuanan, and then you just love life, right? Oh, no, or you just return the offense. Okay. This is really commanding. Like... Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Painter is going to be bad. I always forget about KI. Yeah, you guys are completely right. Now I'm a dumbass. Yeah, so you have to you have to go ahead and return the defense there, so that way you have someone to attack, and you just go water here. Um, and you, I would assume that you then just uh, unbow the challenger. Yeah, you guys are completely right. I, t I, com I always forget about KI. Um, I, I have played against you multiple times where you've forgotten about it. And be like, oh, I guess I lose here. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm in a, I'm, I'm a lot better about it in tournaments because I can like see it. Um, but in online play, I just always forget it. Um, you're not wrong, insanity. Um, would anything be bad here for him to hit? I guess Shameful wouldn't be that nice. Upholding wouldn't be that great. Yeah, well, this deck is not on uh, Shameful, actually. Um, I okay. think... Upholding is probably fine, right? Like, you probably don't care? Uh, at this point in time, probably not. I mean, it sort of just depends on what's in your hand. And it looks like yeah. you're just going to play out the attachments now, so... I really want to know what his um, restricted list card... What his um, splash is. Uh, I would imagine it's probably Dragon. Yeah, there's Lego. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait. Yeah, you're right. Okay. But it's just Keeper Splash for... For Duel All uh, right. Defend Your Honor. Yeah, yeah, it is let go, Jasper, because he already... 
So you just get rid of the Voice of Honor here. Uh, or the Court Games, you want to Yeah, either of those would be fine. Yeah, Voice is probably it. Okay, so Dojo Challenger stands up here. Um, oh. On box for this deck is... Uh, it's going to be Frostbitten, actually. Is it? Okay. Yeah, is it, that's, a, that's that's the reason you would keep her here, is so you, you can put Frostbitten. So, just a heads up for anybody who's playing against uh, tower decks. Um, in general, if you see Keeper Vera, it's probably because they're doing the uh, whole anti-tower thing. Uh -huh. um, Will joked earlier that I don't read cards, and it is um, <clears throat> completely true. I don't ever read cards, so that's why Ki always gets me. Um, does he have enough? Well, this is actually a pretty important break because he avoids the Kwanon, and he gets rid of Pledge of Loyalty. Um, I don't. I, I'm. I've been fine. I just need to get wrecked by things, and then I'm, then I'm usually okay. Yeah. So I think it's. I think it's smart for Baltus here to go ahead and defend with Doji Challenger. I mean, unless he thinks he can win on box, which. Is possible. Oh, it's a little bit too all in, right? Like, although you know, we know that Matsu has two X way of the lion. Um. Yeah. But you would have to. He would have to break. So that's only plus nine skill, um, which is actually enough to break. Sorry, but did we uh, um, Kakita Dojo already this turn? Yes, uh, Baltus has. He already Kakita Dojo, but Baltus has a bonsai in hand, so yeah. he'll be fine. Shane, I, I think that he actually probably could break um, Stronghold this turn, but it's I kind of I agree with this play just because why risk it? You know, like if you have a easier easier sort of way, um, if you have a, a, a better way of breaking next turn, like a safer play, you may as well just just go and do that. Yeah. Well, I think like. You don't. He's first player, and there's just a lot of benefits to to defending this here. Having seen his uh, the Will's hand, I don't think he has anything. Oh, he has another sharpen. Yeah, but he would have to but play sharpen plus something else to actually be able to break here. Plus one holding. Oh, there's this. Oh, the scavenger. Okay. He did. Oh, he has a scavenger. Right, 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 right. Um, and I don't think Balthus has anything. No. So he has a right? bonsai, story defeat, and voice of honor. So he did, he was not gonna have enough. That sucks. So maybe not totally dead. Um, but... Ooh, spoils of war too. That's nice. I mean, I still say that this is very. I, I, I do think that he should have put this duelist training on the on the challenger. Yeah, or at least the other katana. Like, yeah. Um going all in on this Quanon. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not complaining. Um uh -oh. he is complaining. But but I agree with you, Mike. He's definitely like in the lead here. Um Oh. Uh oh. We're good, we're good, we're good. Good, good, good. This is this is also like a very typical Baltus thing to do, where like he like mopes, even though he's not actually uh, in a bad position. So he'll like mope, but then like he'll win the game. And he'll be like, haha, I gotcha. Johnny, why aren't you playing in this tournament? He didn't want to wake up. He didn't want to wake up. God, all these lazy motherfuckers. Um. Although I can't really speak, I also didn't want to. Maybe next one should be at noon. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was, I was thinking about pushing it up for uh, for an hour for the next time, just because no. uh, like originally I set it for this time, and then like none of the nobody said anything about it, and then like yesterday there were a bunch of West Coast people who were like, "It's too early, you need to move it." And I'm like, "Well, I'm not gonna move it the day before." So the I played in a Netrunner tournament last week um, that started at noon, and it had seventy people. But also, it was an international tournament, and I was playing a guy in fucking, like, Ukraine. He's like, it is 1 a.m., 
and I am playing this tournament. I was like, why the fuck? Why are you yeah. online? <laughs> Go to sleep. It's, it's like, like, dude, it is round one. Yeah. What do you think is going to happen here? <laughs> and so that's, that's that's part of the reason why we wanted to do like the separate NA event too, is right? Like, so like last uh, last time this thing ran, I was looking at um, the people who were playing in uh, the EU one, and I was like, man, there's some yeah. Americans in here. It must be pretty miserable to wake up at like four o'clock in the morning to to play Jigoku. Yeah. Um, Man, the like, Netrunner guys were fucking intense though. They're like, nah, I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna wait until midnight to start this tournament. Yeah, that tournament was really good. Um, I dropped because I was doing pretty poorly, and I was gonna go for. I was gonna hang out with a friend um, later on that day. Um, but it was a really good tournament. They're actually having their top eight right now. Oh no, in an hour. I was playing um, a Potential Unleashed out of Genteki, and uh, my runner was Smoke. Neither of them particularly like super competitive, but I'm just uh, getting back into the game. Right. Insanity, what do you play? Oh, sorry, we can we can talk about L5R. Uh, well, I'm trying to figure out right now if not if... PU PU is banned. PE Potential, sorry, affecting excellent. Yeah, PE. Yeah. The one where every time you get an agenda, it's uh, net damage. I'm trying to figure out if we're disconnected right now, or if Baltus is just trying to figure out if he wants to discard one of these two holdings. Um, I think that is fun. Yeah, Shapers are in a rough spot right now. They're just too slow. So there's so many fast advanced decks um, that they just can't really do it. Uh, I think we are, in fact, ECing. Sucks. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe I, I just DC'd. Sorry, I, I meant PE. Okay, yeah. Um, there we go. PU, I, PU is disgusting and deservedly banned. This is intense. Okay, I'm back. This is quite the board state. This is. So this is actually going to be a pretty tough conflict. So this Mozo is going to be a five. Um, Takamori. No. So, okay, nice. Like on the favored mount. He, he Takamori'd him, right? Yeah, yeah, he got Takamori'd already. Yeah. Played it, it's broken. <laughs> Prayers to Ebisu comes out. <laughs> so that's a sign that, that I think Will has now lost the game. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, with the with the with the like on the mount there, that's gonna be game. Uh Baltus can now attack with everybody into stronghold on political and or or military, honestly, and just sort of wreck. So uh that'll be it for this game. So we'll go ahead and go to a different game now. I think we're looking for uh, SSK, right? Um, uh, yeah, SSK. So that'll be Gomes, or I think Za might also be an SSK. I'm not sure. Uh, well, Zaz, Zaz's game is done. I think Gomes' game is. Oh, here we go. Uh, Gomes, I know for sure, is on SSK. So we'll hop in here. Uh, and I think this game just oh. restarted because it, it crashed earlier. So let us watch this side man. Well, you're not playing, so we can't watch your game, Johnny. So we can't watch the side man game. He's on Marker Shame. This came Marker Shame Noble Stack. <laughs> yes. Um, I, <laughs> I think both of us recently learned what the term side man means yesterday. Um, and it's it's a very it's very funny. I th I think it's actually a very good insult. Um, is the British are very good at insulting each other, I've found. It's the British thing. Maybe. Um, it, it could just be like... <laughs> it could just be a Johnny be a, thing. A Daniel-specific thing, yeah.
Gotta do some admin stuff real quick. Um, Shane, I think that like, um, this good job. That was a good game. Um, I I think that like essentially right in the meta right now, Shane. Um. I mean, whatever. You still, like, that... It, were you bluffing that bon with that bonsai? Where you're like, oh, no, it's political, uh, and then you duel to the death him? Was that a bluff? Or did you, like, oh, a bonsai may as well just know? I mean, he's, he's never going to admit to it being a bluff. He, just... <laughs> he could. He could admit to it being a bluff. Uh, Baltus cheered one bit. Thank you, Baltus. I actually just hit a uh, Twitch affiliate yesterday. So uh, you guys can now subscribe and and cheer and uh, do bits and stuff. How often do you have to stream to be a Twitch affiliate? Um, so the criteria is within a thirty month, uh, not thirty month, thirty day period. You have to stream. Um, I think it's seven seven different days um, for a total of I want to say like like twenty hours or something like that. Okay. Wow. Um, and you have to have an average of three viewers. So, fifty followers stream eight hours, seven different days. Hold on, I can look at it right now, actually. Insanity rises. Uh, just said the said the thing. Oh, okay. Are you gonna do? Can you get custom eight emotes? Hours. Okay. Fifty followers. Yeah. Yeah, I can get an emoji now. I think. An average of three hour three viewers. You should do the down up. Yeah. I, I don't. I, I have to get Will to to send me the uh the little file for it. Oh, so I think I actually have it. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'll do it. I'll do it after this, or maybe I do it, it now. I, I I needed it for the uh, the U.S. channel. Yes. Um. Let's see. So I'll figure out how to do that while while you compete the rest of this game. Sure. So then I'll uh yeah, send, send, it to yeah, send me or, the thing. Or I'll just tell Will to send it to you. Okay, that's fine. I assume I that you can stand up and stand down. Uh, do I get two? I only get one, I think. Okay. For affiliate. Uh, what time is the break until? So let's see. The round is scheduled to end at uh, twelve thirty-five. I think, right? I said. What? To oh, oh, okay. It's a different different time zone. So about thirty minutes. Yeah, so, so the, the round ends at 12.35. We're going to take a lunch break after that. Um, we'll probably start back up, I'll say, for uh, one, uh, 1.30. Sounds good. Yeah, so it'll be like a, a little less than an hour lunch break. Seems a little bit. Um, that seems a little, yeah, 2.30 Eastern. That seems a little... For most of the tournaments, I've seen like a 30 minute lunch break because you're not really leaving um, to go get something. You're just sort of like heating something up, right? Yeah. But that's cool. I can too. And then I need to do actual stuff before my girlfriend comes home so that she's yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, and like if, if, if at any point you need to sub out, I think uh, Dan wanted to, to hop in here to um, also commentate some stuff. Well, well, we could do all three of us, right? Uh, we could, hypothetically. I mean, do you want to get in here, Dan? Dan, do you want to get in? Uh, Insanity, if you if you can tell if you can tell me how to um in the chat how to uh actually edit my emojis or or Finbar, if you want to um so that way Arash can actually focus on commentating the game while I'm doing this other stuff. Oh yeah, I actually have been look. I've been just. I've been doing nothing. I've been just lazy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did want to talk about um, Shane's earlier point that even though uh, MOS Noble Sack still works, yeah, this is a this is a kill deck. Like he's he's running all the Imperial shit. He's running Mark of Shame. Like I think that this deck barely works, right? Like I think it's okay. Um, I have not been 
super impressed by it. But then also, I never think about castigated, so I just die all the time. Um, but it looks like Gomso is in a pretty pretty good position. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have learned not to trust me to do things. Will is not wrong. I guess his board is leaving though, so it's not. Why would you trust me to read cards? So I've been playing a lot of Netrunner with Will, and then things just like randomly just like thunderfuck me because I haven't read the cards. Um, and Will just gets so angry at me when card when I'm like, I thought that this card worked this way, and it's never true. Um, this is a pretty good assassination. I see the I see the art on the card, and then I read the first part of the card. New cards are actually really sweet. There's a lot of really good cards. Um, I really like what the what Nisa has done. Um, They've done a really good job. I read the first part. I don't ever read the restrictions. One that I felt bad about was not realizing that hard hitting news um, is any successful run. I thought it was only on a on a central server. Um, that one did actually fuck me. So he's broken Shameful, he's broken, um, I don't know what province that is, but it looks like it's City of the Rich Frog. So he seems to be in a pretty commanding position here. Um, he's running a lot of jank, actually. Uh, so castigated, um, is Governor Spy Imperial? No, he's just a courtier. Um, I don't really like Governor Spy. I think there's a neat effect, but it doesn't really have a lot of... I haven't seen it. Um, yeah. This is all the new cards. I kind of respect that. I definitely respect that. Um, he just... So what does Governor Spy even do? It rearranges all the cards. Uh, it turns all the cards face up, and then you rearrange them. Or face down, rather, sorry. Yeah. So then, does it... Okay. Wild. It actually does kind of really screw over... Um, let's see what's in his hand. Calling in fetters. Two castigated. Like, so much kill in his hand right now. Yeah, it really is good against Crab. It's also probably pretty good against Unicorn. Doesn't do much against... Is it an action that can be taken in Dynasty, or it has to be during a conflict? It has to be during a conflict, right? Yeah, it has to be during a conflict. Okay. Does it need to be participating? I think so... Yeah, and which is um. Sorry, let me let me actually just mouse over for you. His stats are actually not bad. One four is okay, yeah, but that's not that great. That's not that great in Scorpion. He has to be participating. Yeah. This feels like a very other clan card and not a Scorpion card. Yeah, but his red stat is one, and he's uh three cost. Oh, oh fuck! He commied into pilgrimage. Oh no, not like this. <laughs> oh, that feels bad. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's a, that's a very hard lesson to learn. I felt that pain through the monitor. Yeah, F's in chat for gums here.
Sorry guys, I'm just trying to work on this emoji in the background. This Twitch emote. All right, well, he has a shoju, so I assume that he's fine. <laughs> but he doesn't even need the ring effect. So, oh, if I was if I was uh, Ryan, I would actually probably seasonal war here. I would definitely season so that he doesn't get the get the shoju out. And if I was if I was uh, Gumso, I would have bought the shoju first. Wow. Oh. Is he not gonna buy the shoju? Not gonna buy shoju. But he flipped the shoju. So and he's what? But he had a shoju. That's a card that I've read. He doesn't die to it. He goes on to two. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's not city, but just jam an airing, whatever. Yeah, he has a compelling. He has a. Uh, he has two Sinister Soshis. But you can just not. I mean, you just don't put Kageyu in a. Yeah, it is pretty risky. You're right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Um. But, uh, oh, he voice of honored the season of war. That's interesting. I would actually, if I was, if I was playing uh, SSK, um, I would, I would probably use old shoju. Um, shoju one in SSK is actually very scary. As soon as Scorpion is not tier one, I play Dragon. <laughs> is that is that how it works? <laughs> no, um, I actually stopped playing Scorpion because too many people at our locals was playing Scorpion, um, and I really hated the Keeper of Earth Dirtle deck. It just felt so fucking boring to use and to play against. Yeah, I mean, Shoju one would make a lot more sense in this type of deck um, because. He has all the kill anyway, so it's just another source of kill. Yeah. Well, you can't defend until he's used SSK. He has to use SSK before he declares an attack, right? So, there's that. So it feels like he's going to kill this, this challenger. Yeah, I like Return of Offense and Shoju 1. I think that, I mean, you run what? You run one Noble Sack. Two SBR and two return the offense. Or creating card in there. Three SBR. SBR. Yeah, yeah. One. Yeah. Three SBR. Two return. Yeah. I mean, this man is just gonna die, right? Like this. This Doji Challenger is just gonna bite it. This is kind of awkward. For oh hmm, well, now he doesn't have an attack. Right, like he's just gonna have to defend this turn. Feels as though his plan is sort of unraveling. He can't castigate it this turn because he doesn't have a. He doesn't have a. Oh, dude. That doesn't have to be. A, it has to be during. Oh yeah. Does it have to be participating for for castigate or just needs to be existent? It just has to be existent. Oh. Okay. So then he can actually. 
he can actually cast a get a kill here. So then this Kagei is probably going to die. I would assume. I would assume so, yes. Um, and he did get a nice burst of econ there. He got two money. Yeah, so he's just setting up the kill right now. Oh, that didn't work. He should do the little thingies in between. You do have to have a participating character. Okay. Yeah, I agree with I agree with Christian here. He should just move out here because he's definitely gonna die. Oh, well, he can't compelling. He can't. He can't cast. He can't castigate it here. So it's probably fine. Like if he's gonna if. No, oh, you can't. You can only play it on a participating character, but you don't need to have a character participating. That is correct. Yeah. So, so he can kill him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you don't have to. You don't have to have a participating character. You just. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought that you, you had it as well, but I just read it. I mean, Castigated is still a kind of shitty card, but <laughs> yeah, he should. <laughs> he definitely should have just. Uh, Favorable grounded out as soon as he as soon as he compelled he saw his hand he saw that he had to to castigate it in there. There's also a castigate in the bin if you wanted to read it. Um, not that I advocate reading of cards, but if he felt so inclined, he could have. But that was such an expensive kill. Like, he's at two cards, two honor. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree, Dan. Um, why aren't you in this chat? Why aren't you talking to us? Why are you typing? This is some sideman shit. Um, it's Mark of Shame, Mike. He's, a, he's running Mark of Shame. Well, actually, I think that it's, that it's Dan who's at fault here. It's me? Yeah, you're, you haven't, you haven't he, invited... He didn't ask me to. We me. asked him, and he didn't he did say anything. Oh, oh, he did? Oh. Split. Oh, I'm sorry. But, yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna go on. We're gonna go on we're lunch. We're gonna go on lunch break in a second, anyway. So yeah. Hey, this is some sideman shit. Oh yeah, you can also add into the call too. <laughs> can I? But Dan told me to. Dan told me to. Um... No, you are. Yes, I, I was doing some other stuff. So yes, it's it's good for you to, that you were focusing. Okay, there we go. All right, I just added him. All right, <laughs> we had to make a new call for this, but it's fine. I mean that's the way it, that's the way it works, right? Yes. Um, that scorpion is fucked here. He's not even saying anything though, so. I think he just joined the call. Hello. Mm -hmm. my uh. I am for return to the stream. Oh. All right. So. He Seeker of Void, he had a City of the Rich Frog. Oh, we've seen Shameful Display Pilgrimage. The last one, I'm, yeah. Uh, but Shiny Agron, you should enjoy this moment of silence before Johnny um, fills it with the random things that he just <laughs> come from his mouth. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enough of that. I, I pour only joy into the world. What's the, what's the, what's the password for this? Side one, two, three. Oh, no. uh, it's one. I've actually been going into the the. I'm, I'm watching from the stream. Yeah, you are um, watching a slight delay, by the way, Rush. No, so, which so. is fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really give a fuck. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to toggle between the game and the chat. Is really what it is. Do you not have a? Um, I guess you don't. I was gonna oh, ask you a second monitor. No, I have a shitty laptop. That's the type of life I've done meeting. Okay. My email has been yeah. submitted for approval. I too have a shit laptop or rash. 
So hopefully... It was a refurb. A very old one. <laughs> Can you get pop-up chat? Really? How? What did I press for that? You just chat said... What do you mean? Um... All right, fine. I will do that. I will do that next round. Which channel are we on? Dan's or Rash's? We're on Dan's channel because he's affiliated now. Oh, he's bona fide, is he? He's I got that fucking I just... sweet tit Twitch money. <laughs> I just, uh, I just submitted my my Twitch emote. I, yeah, I just figured that out. I, I, I'm gonna pop it out and go into the regular regular game next round. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I, I I I do these things to the chat, and the way they repay me is by by shitting on me. So they get me. It gets you nothing. <laughs> um, uh, if we're quoting one of my favorite Warhammer forty k quotes by the Lion Primarch, uh, it's uh, loyalty is its own reward. Shay. I'm a big fan of that but quote. It's not even loyal to me. They would turn on me in a second. Yeah, they would. They'd be like piranha fish down there. You know, the second like one of them's like little gimped and bleeding a bit, they'll just descend on it and tear it apart like a flock of seagulls. Is that what seagulls are known for? Are they known for being that vicious? Hey, you go down to fucking Brighton Beach on a sunny day with a cone of chips. He's actually not wrong. Having been you will get you will get assaulted. They've killed old people. The, the seagulls. <laughs> they have literally ended the lives of of, of, of of elderly people who made the mistake of bringing food to a beach. Because they're used to all the old Russians in Brighton Beach, and they're made of sterner stuff, you know. So regular old people just don't have a chance in Brighton Beach. <laughs> regular old it's people. It's really sad. <laughs> Is there yeah, like a special man, seagulls... like, hardened like breed of uh, of old people that are able to survive yeah. the seagulls? Yeah, the Brooklyn Russian old people can survive the flock of seagulls. What is happening? Hey, if, it's, if it's if it's your average Auntie Mavis, you know, who's just some doddery old bird that's pretty old, you know, goes, yeah. she she doesn't have a fucking chance, right? So you, is... you need some serious militant old people to be able to attend a beach safely in the summer with a cone of chips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, this game. <laughs> in other news. In um, other news. Things are occurring. Um, I mean, this game I mean, is over, right? Like, I don't know, right? It's, if there might be like some, yeah. I, I might. My guess would be the scorpion has lost, right? Based on that board, they don't have any red numbers there, and they are going to need a red number to break that stronghold. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'd say it's pretty much over, but this airing might just keep them in it, right? This airing is pretty crucial. Like, I definitely wouldn't have solo defended that airing. The crane player keeps misplaying, which means that. Um, Gomeso is, is might actually just squeeze this. The thing, thing, that, the thing the province is... there, so actually that's that's probably game. He needed to break that province for sure. Oh, I, I feel as though um, Gumso kind of made a. I wonder what's in, in these four cards that warrants him having seven feet. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> in this the game, you should be fading your characters, even if you think that the game is almost over. It's definitely going to last at least another turn. He's so gonna... the fact that he... Sorry, go on. his entire board is leaving, right? Um, yeah, yeah, have... that's real bad. He only put one fate on this attendant to the emperor. Mm. Yeah, actually done. Um... Oh, like Lionel. Go me so, yeah. <laughs> Go me so, yeah. Yo. I would have done attendant to the emperor, five fate, get fucked. What are you going to do about this block of stats with a dishonor token on it? Nothing. Well, yeah. well that's clearly the wrong move. But I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think two or three fate would have been fine on the attendant to the emperor. Um, and I, I definitely would have... Sorry, go ahead. I definitely agree with Chopper there that he should have put... Uh, some fate on this alibi artist, right? Um... 
Yeah, but yeah, I mean, the Alibi Artist is definitely going to draw him at least two cards if, in this game. This game is at least two turns of Alibi Artist worth in it, if not three. Yeah, I agree. The, the, the viewers at home now logging for the sweet release of death. But who, um, who, will, who will give it to them? Not the people playing this game, that's for sure. Now, you know what? I'm just, I'm just like saying things for comic effect now. These guys are doing great. It's really entertaining. Um, I will say that uh, Gomez's plan is probably to buy this shoju, which he was scared to buy when he had two on her, but probably feels a bit better about buying now that he has four on her. Oh, also pointing and then he's at probably... that con of the fact that Gomso has 19 minutes on his clock, and Ryan only has six minutes. So he couldn't <laughs> take a long con. <laughs> You're oh, not wrong a... there, shiny Agron. <laughs> he is actually going to go back down. Um, to two, yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to see victory by clock. Give us what we want. <laughs> Time wins, there still wins. Um, he can't... is about to die, I feel. Because it's only during a political conflict. Okay. Why does he, he reduce his skill to zero, then? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Brash Samurai is so fucking dope. Is really... Oof. Really egregiously good. I was thinking of, like, the... Best um, characters in the game you can put elegant testing on, and uh, I think Brash has got to be one of them. I know Yasumura is one of them for obvious reasons. Um, go on, chat. Best characters. Characters you get a warm, fuzzy feeling when you put elegant testing on. Definitely Yasumura, Yasumura, and um, and Brash Samurai, and honestly, Dazzling Duelist is also really good. Is he got uh, two He's the one with two glory. He's is um, stats a two to two. I can't actually remember what his stats are. It's a two two two, for two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's then that's super dope with elegant testing, really, isn't it? That's just a five five with elegant testing. Uh, you see Nori with with uh, the fact that Sonori's text isn't an action. It's just like blank uh, province effects. Is is amazing. Sadako is good. I already know what's happening in this, in this game now. I think this scorpion has got to be dead now. Nah, it's got one on her. It, it like has not broken a third province. We're talking about best characters to put a Tessin on. Christian. Um, but I do like yeah, well, Samurai of Integrity. Yeah, we, we already talked. Yasumoro was the first one we said. Yeah, yeah Yasumoro was like obviously fucking ground zero for best person to put a Tessin on. Um, Sadako is pretty good. Sadako is pretty good. Can't deny that. He didn't keep the shoju. <laughs> he he actually flipped another shoju in the he exact. Flipped another shoju, yeah. That's great. He actually, actually just flipped his third shoju. The universe yeah. is telling him to buy this shoju. Buy the shoju. Buy it. <laughs> Um, Kill yourself in style. Oh, this is awkward. You definitely don't want to um, journey to nowhere, this fucking uh, little man. What's his name? This little side man here, this Calo delegate. Side That's just going to be really bad if you do that. <laughs> yeah, that just gives him an honor, right? Yeah, he just basically honors a guy. <laughs> Say that again, Arash? Oh. I know, Will, we know he can't buy the shoju, but if he was classy, he should buy the shoju. He should just buy so the he shoju, yeah. Buy it by his own hand, you know? <laughs> Buying the shoju. That's, <laughs> I think that's what you have to do in this situation. It's bad shit you should buy here. Um, wow, we've had six turns of conflict. Yeah, you don't see that every day. Fancy here. He should just all in air here and win, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I like Shiny Agron's line. You dispatch to nowhere the cat, the side man. Then you fucking buy shoju and just like light light your cigarette and pour yourself a glass of wine and just call it a day, really, isn't it? I I like that as well. <laughs> Sick lines, bro. <laughs> This new this new crane character, the cunning negotiator. 
I've seen him in a lot of decks, and I think that he's pretty decent. I, um, I think this guy's really good. He keeps he's just a he's just a duel. They automatically win, and then he pings whatever's on your province. So he's normally getting you like a shameful trigger or or a manicured. Manicured, right? Those are the only two. I guess Kuramori as well. Yeah, but, uh, everyone um, runs manicured garden. Like this guy basically just reads, you know, get another fate from manicured garden, right? I mean, he, he'll trigger like. Two, two, two times a game, roughly. Yeah, if he's if he's in play for a couple of turns, two, three turns. So Here's, that's pretty good, and it's so good to, too. Needs to play these five cards in a way that wastes three minutes. Minutes. Yeah, um, that's Meanwhile, that's his win. Ryan never needs to spend more than Why did ten he... seconds on any decision. I don't understand. Like, he has castigated. He definitely has one more castigate. Yeah, it's Dan K. Dan K is in here as well now. Um, he definitely has castigated. No, he, he's lost all his castigated. Ash, he's, Ash, he's lost all his castigated. They all got discarded to Earthrings. Oh, really? Okay. All right, never mind. Yeah, it will always, always, I'm looking in his bin now. There's three castigators. Uh, Still, why not just fucking go <laughs> military here? You have, like... It just seems it seems like the the decision would should be to. Um, here's another. Yeah, go, you probably should go military here, yeah, right? You can probably just go military with your your DD, your Brash, and your uh, Doji Challenger, and then just be like, "Yeah, what are you going to do with all those blue numbers? Nothing. Not even all those blue numbers. There's a paltry amount of blue numbers on the Scorpion side." You can actually um, noble sack here to be a two honor. Um, oh my stuff. god! Oh my god! <laughs> he sees this hand. He sees this hand, and he discards fiery madness. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so now he's so... making a completely obvious move of uh, noble sacking the. Um, the Maya Mystic, and we have another round, boys. Yeah, turn seven. Here we come. <laughs> <laughs> Time win is back on the menu. Oh, court game. Oh, Boo. oh, oh no. Oh dear. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now you just kill the cunning. How do you stop this air ring, though? That's the question. It doesn't matter because you're gonna get an okay, honor. You're gonna get an honor from this leading play. Yeah, you just basically need to be able to finish the game in two minutes and a second, which is possible. You just need to do that second conflict and hope it lands. Yeah. Stop, stop wasting your time, Ryan. You're gonna lose this game if you don't just like hammer that pass button like it's going out of fashion. He should have actually sacked the Mystic right now, um, just because. He, I mean, I guess you can always just sack the Mystic without. Wait, he didn't even noble sack. What the fuck? Why did he discard noble sack? Okay, huh? yeah, this is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this makes sense. Oh, oh. Business. oh dear. <laughs> I have never seen someone try to throw a game as hard as this dude right here, but he's, he's really making a good go of it, isn't he? He should still noble sack instead of doing what he's doing right now. He's oh, got one it, minute fifteen. Why just hammer pass? Hammer it. pass. I I think Game is going to win this. I think he's absolutely going to win this. Yeah, I I actually. 100% agree. And he has another policy debate. Holy fuck. You don't want to be, you don't want to be resolving right. cards like policy debate right now. If you have one minute and nine seconds, that's a precious five seconds of time. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh um, my God. And, and, and Ryan. So now, he got a, you've got a is... He's got to FG the, the Dazzling Duelist. He absolutely has to FG the Dazzling Duelist. You've got to be able to do a military attack. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's doing policy debate. What are you doing? 
<laughs> no! <laughs> Censure! Uh, oh no! It's gonna, oh it's gonna be a time win! Oh my God. It is gonna be a time win. This pizza ball here, guys. Because we've got, we've got oh, it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so God. yeah, he's got no more characters, and he's dead. He's fucking dead. He could he could have literally avoided all of that. Oh my God! He didn't in the last out. He didn't actually out. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's this he's he's, he's be... like he he just had to face the ground. Anyone hurt? Oh my God! He's testing. No, he's got eight seconds left. Can he do it? Can he declare a conflict in eight seconds? This is this is some real edgy as shit. See. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is this is unreasonably tense. This is unreasonably tense. Wait, it's no, G no, G no, G no, 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 Eight seconds! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! You know what though? That is that is the sporting thing to do. It that is, is the sporting thing. Yeah. yeah, he did lose this game. Yeah, you, um, you don't want to like you don't wanna, like <laughs> bitch someone out on a death look. I mean, I would. I'm not above it. But you know, your average decent human being shouldn't <laughs> bitch people out on a death look. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That would be a real side man thing to do. Would be uh, uh, in that case, I wouldn't do it because I am legendarily not a side man. So yeah, don't do that, kids. <laughs> All right. Don't, don't what did I come back to? Side man. <laughs> I stepped away for a second. Well, came down to uh, basically, it oh came down to eight seconds on the chess clock. Yeah. I yeah. Ryan Ryan really didn't seem like he wanted to win the game there, despite having everything he yeah. needed to win the game like two times in a row. <laughs> I agree with Jasper here. He should have waited until there was one second left on the clock and then GG'd. That's pretty oh, big. Quality move, but you know. Dick maneuver. Um, what's what's next? I actually know nothing about this tournament other than it is happening. Uh, I think that actually we're out of time. Yeah, and so uh, I think that is the last game that was running right now. All the other games have finished, so right now we're about to go on lunch break. So. Did, did, uh, What's up? Did Neil drop? Uh, yes, he did. He said he had to he had to take care of some other stuff. Okay. So, actually, a, a decent number of drops here. Um, <laughs> the EU has questioned the fortitude of our, our of our players because a lot of them have dropped. So we'll go ahead and uh, check the results now. If you want to take a look at the scoreboard, everyone's dropped. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Let me just make sure everything is okay. I have to drop one more person, I think. Yeah, that was pretty exciting. Um, <laughs> that was that was definitely a match for the ages. So for those of you who are considering dropping, don't forget that you know we do have prizes um, for all levels of participation. Um, it also normally happens that like if it's your entire Saturday, right? Like if you're on two losses or whatever the fuck, yeah. you may as well drop. Like it's t it's totally to be expected. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure while we're all locked in quarantine, everyone's got better things to be doing. <laughs> Absolutely better things to be doing. <laughs> well, I mean, like, sure, there's, there's like, a, a dearth of things. <laughs> but, like, it's also, like, do you really want to spend eight hours in front of your computer? I mean, yes, because that's what I do on a day-to-day -day anyway. <laughs> 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 <don't> do <laughs> I wake up, I'm on my computer, I go to sleep. And I log off from my computer. And when we finally get to leave our homes, like all the quarantine versions of ourselves are going to be so degen. <laughs> like a bunch yeah. of like little fucking smeagles creeping out into the world. Uh, we need some real sideman shit going on. <laughs>